I love it when a plan comes together. What's going on my DC fans and welcome back to another episode. Thank you all for coming out again to watch my videos time and time again. It's awesome. So with that, let's just jump right into the first topic of the day, which is June 12th. Very special day. If you have not heard or <laughs> if you haven't been paying attention, the country has kind of been in a pandemic for a while, going on three or four months now. Uh, ever since March, everything's kind of been shut down. Now we are finally getting to a point where things are starting to open up. We're starting to, to change our stages from red to orange to yellow to green. So things are looking up. As the summer starts, things are looking up. So there was an article uh, saying that on June 12th, they're opening up California to start filming movies again. Yes, that is a huge revenue for California production companies and just the United States in general, the entertainment industry. It's huge for the industry. June 12th, California is opening up. They are allowing uh, these movie production companies to start filming their movies again or shows and start productions again. So is that good for us? Yes, it's great for us because um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, Warner Brothers is in California. Um, Zack Snyder lives in California. A bunch of the cast lives in California. And what is Zack Snyder doing? Oh yeah, that's right, he's doing additional photography. The sooner that Zack can get out there and start filming the rest of his movie, the additional photography, the add-ons, whatever you want to call it, the sooner the better. The sooner he gets that done, the sooner we, we should see his movie. Plain and simple, that's how I truly feel. I don't think there is a release date yet for Zack Snyder's Justice League because, again, they want to wait to see how everything falls into place. Now, there was a date that I told you guys a while ago, the granddaughter of the guy who created the Justice League, he, she said it was going to be, I believe, May 20th or May 21st of 2021, because that was her grandfather's birthday, it was May, whatever, the 20th, 21st. Um, that's what they told her that the release date was going to be. And now, that could be set in stone. They could have said, okay, Zach, this is when it's coming out, plain and simple, no matter what, this is when it's happening. But I feel they want to get this out the sooner, the better, the quicker. So, as soon as Zach can start filming more and get that all completed, then they can be like, okay, now how much time do we need to get all the the special effects, VFX, uh, voice work, music, all that stuff done in order for this thing to be complete? And then they can officially say, okay, yes, this is the date. Now, you know, obviously if Zach couldn't start filming until next year, that would push the date back even further. So, again, June 12th is huge. It's awesome, and then also I said that in July in England, they're going to start filming, or be able to start filming again in England, and that's where uh, Matt Reeves, the Batman, is filming, so then they can start back in July. But for this Zack Snyder's Justice League, June 12th, it could all go down. Victor Q, the poster winner, can finally pack his bags and show up on set. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully we see some behind-the-scenes images, or we, we get some word about what's going on. It's a great time to be a DC fan, no doubt. Next topic is, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to Twitter. Again, I see everything on Twitter, so that's why I let you guys know. There was something that popped up on Saturday, and it said it was the Justice League logo, but it had JC instead of JL. Uh, Justice, or JC, and it had, it had the dates July 25th to July 26th. Eat it. And then right away, everyone's like, what is this? What is this? What does JC mean? JC. And then it slowly kind of, people are like, oh, maybe it means Justice Con. Because apparently, Comic Con is going to be uh, from July 23rd to July 26th. So it would be during Comic Con, which Comic Con is at home this year. And I wasn't sure of the exact date, but I actually did look it up this time. And yes, like I said, it's going to be July 23rd to July 26th at home, live stream. It's, it's, it's going to be something different. But I'm still happy that they're doing it. Still happy they're going to show trailers and have people involved and watching. It's, it's going to be a great time that we all get to experience it. Not just the people that show up to Comic-Con. We believe it's called Justice Con. And don't have any of, the, any of the details yet. They said that they will let us know in the coming days of what it's going to be about. But it's very exciting. Uh, can't wait to see what, what's happening with that. 
again, just another reason why it's, it's a great time to be a DC fan. So much is happening. We are getting back the original slate. I'm telling you, everything we, we always wanted and more. We are getting that. Zack Snyder is going to finish his arc. Ben is going to get his own Batman movie slash TV show if he wants it. Cyborg is probably going to get his own series on HBO Max. You're going to have the Green Lantern show on HBO Max. Justice League Dark. Wonder Woman 1984 is already happening. Aquaman 2. I mean, just the Flash. Everything we ever wanted, we are getting and more. It's amazing. So, with that, the last thing is the PS5 contest. Yes, I told everyone that today I would be announcing the winner. And thank you all for um, subscribing to Jeffrey and to Mick and to Fatal and to Nerdy and to me and to T-Flame. Thank you all for doing that. It really means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to them too. And again, I hope you just didn't subscribe just because, because those guys are great, and they put out great content. If you're a DC fan, you want to be following them. So I told you that I would be announcing the winner, so I, I put all the names in a hat. So what I'm going to do is, is here's my hat, and I have all the names in there. So I'm just going to little... Well, shimmy. Oh, one fell out. I'm not looking. Not looking. <laughs> All right. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And I'm going to randomly select one. Here we go. Here's the winner. Who is it? Niner Empire is the winner. Okay. Congratulations, Niner Empire. I will email you back with the information. Congratulations on winning the PS5. Again, guys, thank you so much for doing this and for joining the contest. There will be plenty more in the future, trust me. But I told you that when I got to 1,000 subs, I wanted to make this big. And I wanted to give away something very cool, very special. And everyone keeps on saying, that's Tyler, you're crazy for doing this. You're crazy for giving someone a PS5. Listen, you guys means so much to me. I did not think this was going to happen when I started this YouTube channel. I talk about this all the time. I did not believe that I was going to be accepted into this movement, accepted into this DC community. And it's been amazing. It's been great. It's been more than, than I could ever have asked for. So for me, giving away a PS5 is nothing. It truly means the most to me that you guys watch my videos and you comment. And I'm again, I'm so happy, so blessed to be a part of this whole thing. So with that being said, that's the video. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe because it helps me in return. I can help you. And I will be putting out videos now every Monday, Wednesday, Friday still. But Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll probably, probably be putting out little videos here or there. So keep your eyes peeled for those. And with that, I'm out. I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back.